and welcome to part two of my Petty Coats vs Hoop Skirts video. Now, um, essentially for part one, we looked more at the general practicalities, uh, while part two we'll be looking more at how it looks and uh, more specific similarities in comparison to um, the aesthetics. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Let's begin. Now, here is me wearing the hoop skirt. Now, uh, one thing I definitely comment about the hoop skirt versus the petticoat is there definitely more like overall kind of movement or pendulum effect going on here. So, you know, if you watch me do a nice twist, the whole thing kind of moves up and down. Uh, when I walk, there's definitely a lot more movement of a pendulum going up and down. So that's one obser observation I'd definitely say uh, about the hoop skirt. Okay, so here is me with the petticoat. Now I'm just going to try the same hoop, hip movement as I did before when I was walking with the hoop skirt. But as you can see, there's not a lot of that pendulum effect happening. Um, the other thing as well is that if I swivel on the spot, there's definitely a lot more flow within the overall dress. So I guess it's another thing that um, you can kind of see that you can probably tell maybe a bit, you know, hoop skirt or petticoat. So there's definitely that going on. Since we're all pretty familiar with petticoats, I figured I'd just uh, look at a few more things about the hoop skirt. Um, one thing you will have to be a little bit more careful is that uh, you don't want to go warp the rings. So in regards to, for example, sitting on this convenient flat surface, uh, you will need to kind of lift the bottom ring up so you can kind of ease yourself over and sit down. Um, I think another thing as well just to mention is that, um, I guess it depends on which uh, hoop skirt, but um, some people are concerned that you can see the rings through the dress. Um, me personally, with my hoop skirt, um, if I can kind of do a close-up, I don't think you can see the rings through there, so honestly in regards to that, I think it depends on your hoop skirt, but I don't really think it's really obvious. So there's that. So just a bit of a fun one, what does a petticoat look like on top of a hoop skirt? I figured this might be a bit useful if you're uh, looking for an OTT look and you need a lot of proof. Uh, this could be a way to go um, because petticoats can get pretty expensive and a hoop skirt might give you what you're looking for over a petticoat that you happen to already have. Um, so just a bit of movement. Uh, you do get still the pendulum effect. Uh, swiveling on the spot. You get a bit of that flowy feel though from uh, the petticoat. Uh, which I still think looks pretty good. So I don't know it could be a cheaper option for you, but it's definitely worth checking it out. So thank you everybody for watching my video on petticoats versus hoop skirts. Um, I hope this gives you a nice idea and kind of how to look and the feel that if you kind of pick either. Um, once again, if you have any other requests to kind of have different dresses on or to go into more depth of petticoats and hoop skirts, uh, just comment below and let me know. So uh, thank you very much.